Hey guys, our friends at Linode are offering cloud hosting for only $10 a month. So let's go see what else is worth $10. Um, not very confident. I only use the top end peripherals, so not very familiar with $10 mice. Uh, well, it's battery powered. It's laser. Doesn't look like it came with a battery. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What do, you, what do you think? I think it's like $5, $3. Okay, I'm gonna guess $15. Really? Jeez, okay. You might be right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm good with these things, you know? <laughs> I don't know if they even have grip on <laughs> just one of the buttons. Okay, it does it not is, have very good. good. It didn't slide. So do you guys think it's uh, cheap, premium, or $10? Wait, $10? Can you even buy a, a mouse for $10? I feel like this has to be more. So I'm gonna go premium. Have you seen the other mice? No. Okay, I guess I haven't either, but I imagine this is like, how can you get worse than this? This with a wire? We'll see. We'll see. Ball mouse. I don't know how you can get lower quality than this. Its feet aren't even real. It has no side buttons. It's wired. I don't even think this is $10. Yeah, I don't either. It's like five, maybe like $3.99. If someone paid me $10, I wouldn't even like throw this in the trash. <laughs> really? It would it's take more bad. than $10 for you to throw it away. Yeah, like. Yeah, uh, this is definitely absurdly cheap. It feels flimsy. This looks like something someone would use in an office, and they bought them in bulk because they were so cheap. I think it's cheaper than the last one that I said was cheap, so we'll say this is the cheapest. I somehow feel like you're gonna show us an even worse mouse. <laughs> they, they have like this like tiny micro mouse. So I, I'm gonna say ten dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this just looks like it's trying too hard. Yeah, but that makes it look like it's $10. It has an on and off switch. Oh, it works. It comes with batteries. It has lights. This, this one's got to be more expensive than the first one we saw. Yeah, it's like appealing to Transformer fans or something. I don't know. Like, I don't think they know how to design a mouse, but somehow it's the most expensive. Oh, yeah, actually. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's I, two I different take things. It back. This is a hundred dollar mouse. Oh geez, actually the best mouse I've ever seen. I'm gonna to convert to this for Overwatch League season two. It looks more expensive than all the mice that you've seen, but I can't imagine it's more than 20 bucks. Personally, if I was to rate this mouse, I would say this little wheel adds like $5. Having a wheel on the side of a mouse is pretty useful. You know, it helps you aim better. Okay, it's got, it's gotta be this order, right? I mean, I'm just guessing the $10 one's best. And you think this is the premium and this is the cheapest? I mean, at this point it doesn't matter. They're both the same. <laughs> just this one's $10? Just that one's $10 for sure. The $10 one is the middle. I am correct. Come on, champ! Wait, uh, I think there was some bad audio, so we should just go back <laughs> real quick. Um, I, I just felt like having a change because I'm just... I, I knew I'd win otherwise, so I had to gamble on it being the absurd. Yeah, no, it makes yeah. sense. It's a good strategy. I don't think I'd spend $10 on any of these mice. I don't know, peripherals are weird for professional gamers because like, they're literally what you work with. So you really do need the best peripherals and what suits you best. So like, I, I think that for like mice and keyboards, they're one of the things that like, the price on it shouldn't really matter if you are a professional gamer. What should matter is having the right equipment. It's a respectable opinion. Hmm. Personally, I like the wheels, so <laughs> okay. I'm gonna start using this. Nice. New Overwatch League mouse. Just yoinking it. Okay.